Dylan is five years old. He loves drawing and coloring and creating artful patches as part of his school's climate quilt project. Dylan pledges to use less water when he washes his hands. We all made different pledges and we wrote our ages and our, and our names and our quilt is right there. Dylan's school is one of several hundred around the world that joined the Climate Quilt Campaign. Lisa Kemmerer is the group's spokeswoman. And basically it's a call to action for kids around the world to get involved with climate change and make their own promises, their individual pledges to help save and protect the future of the environment. Rachel and her brother Jacob are also involved. They say they're serious about saving the environment. A lot of people probably like waste a lot of food, so if they just save, the, save their food, like leftovers and stuff, it will probably help a lot. My pledge was to help the environment and pick up the trash to like stop polluting. Patrick says the project was a chance to learn and express his creativity. I'm pledging to recycle and put a bunch of stickers down and I drew some smiley faces just to like reflect my personality. And when the children finished creating their patches and pledges, the patches had to be sewn together to form a quilt. Steve's Sewing and Vacuum Center, a family-run store in the small town of King of Prussia, volunteered to do it. The company donated equipment for the job and asked volunteers to do the work. Co-owner Karen Chubin says she likes that the campaign has linked quilting and conservation. Quilting actually is one of the best um, most old-fashioned, I should say, ways of recycling. Old fabrics and that's what a quilt is made of, mostly all type of, any type of material and, and sewn together. Co-owner Steve Chubin says he was surprised by the response he got when he asked his customers to chip in. The customers called me back and said, oh, that's nice to see that you're involved in another thing that, you know, is helping the earth and being green and all. Phyllis Smith decided to volunteer. I'm sewing together the beautiful strips that the kids have made. They're fantastic. I mean, you read them and you go, oh, you read another one, you go, wow. The campaign has empowered children, says Steve's store manager, Liz Bedell, a quilter and volunteer. I guess it's just that it's important that they feel that they can affect change, that they can be a part of something and see how it makes a difference to them and to their world. That's the ultimate goal of the Climate Quilt Campaign. Portions of the quilt will be displayed in New York and Washington on the 40th anniversary of Earth Day. For Pfizer El Masri, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News.